Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to get a look at the latest update for Topaz Gigapixel 7. This is version 7.4, now with Generation 2 Face Recovery. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Topaz Gigapixel has been updated again. This is version 7.4. Now they've added second generation face recovery and coming soon will be something new called gigaprint by the way if you don't yet own topaz gigapixel 7 or topaz photo ai or you want to renew your license you can use my affiliate links in the description below this video it will take you over to the topaz web store where you could purchase the products or renew your license and when you use my links i make a small commission and this helps me to keep these tutorials coming your way when you use those links i really appreciate it and thank you i have three different examples for you today i have a couple old images these are just stock images that i found i thought these old images would be a great way to see what this generation 2 can do on an older image and then i have one image from this era of a family that we could look at. Now, if we come to the right side of the interface and come down and you'll notice we have face recovery and you can turn face recovery off or on right here. When you turn it on, this panel opens up. And if you'll look right here, it says select faces to recover 14 of 14. There's actually only 12 faces, but there is a picture back here there's a couple faces there so if i click select faces to recover you notice we have these boxes these blue boxes every one of the blue boxes are selected faces now back here in this picture we have blue boxes so if i click on this box and this box they're no longer blue and they're no longer selected and then just click apply now you could select any or all the faces it's totally up to you so i'll click apply and now all 12 of these faces are selected and right now we're in version generation one now this is the version that we've always had generation one but now we have generation two beta but take a look at the image right now first with generation one now i have the face recovery strength up at 100 percent. and if you feel the effect is too strong you could pull back on the face recovery slider but for this video we're just going to leave everything at 100 percent I'm going to click this button to go into split screen view. This way we can see a before and after. Okay, so on the left of this line, this is before. Now let me start to drag the line across and then you can see the after. You can see generation one has done a really good job with it. Now let's check out generation two. Let me drag the slider back over and we'll click on generation two beta and see what we get. Now I'm using generation two realistic. I'll drag this across and see if you can see a difference yeah i'll tell you what it definitely looks more improved here i think it looks really good when you first install this update you'll get this splash screen that comes up and it gives us some information next gen face recovery face recovery gen 2 has twice the output resolution and model parameters of the original it's more accurate delivering the best possible results across a wider range of images so that's basically what it is in a nutshell now let me go ahead and go back to gen 1 i'll click on gen 1 and we'll see the difference here it takes a second to update so there's gen 1 take a look at the image and it looks really good but now here is gen 2 beta and it definitely has more resolution from what i can see what do you think let me know what you think in the comment section below but i think this is really an improvement and remember it is still only in beta this gen 2 face recovery is supposed to be more intelligent and precise and it's supposed to give you better results on teeth and eyeglasses and things like that so give it a try and see what kind of results you get now for gen 2 beta we have two different modes i showed you the realistic mode and there's also a creative mode now notice see where it says mode if i hover over the eye it tells us realistic mode maintains the highest fidelity to the original image while creative mode takes more liberties but may provide better results for specific details and small faces so it's something always good to try just to see if it's better you never know right now i'm in realistic let's click on creative and see what we get the big thing I'm noticing, if you'll notice the lips, they are turning red and maybe some areas on the face are getting some red coloration. So it's being a little more creative. Now, this is a black and white 
sepia toned image and I really don't like the red on here so I don't really think it's helping this image but it is trying to be more creative and if I take the face recovery and pull it back a little bit let's see if it looks any better yeah that looks a little bit better but I don't like the red on the lips and uh, it just doesn't work for me maybe if this image was black and white that wouldn't happen but maybe it thinks it is a color image I'm not 100% sure on that I'm going to turn the face recovery back up for now let's look at another image Here's another old photograph, and then I'll show you a modern photograph after this. Now, I'm using Gen 1 face recovery. I'm using split screen mode, so here's the before on the left. Now, here is the after. And as you can see, it's doing a really nice job on this old photograph. Now, of course, I could pull back on the face recovery a little bit and make it look more realistic. But let's put it up to 100% for this test. Now let's click on Gen 2 Beta and see what kind of a result we get. And now this is Gen 2 Beta. Now here is the before and here's the after. Man, I definitely think there's an improvement there. It looks too strong of an effect. So let me pull back on the face recovery, maybe a little bit more, maybe right here. But that looks really good. Now here's the before and here's the after and i really think it's done a good job now let's compare it to generation one now the face recovery is at 65 let me click on gen one and see what we get okay so that's gen one let me pull up the face recovery to 100 percent. here's 100 percent face recovery and now here is gen two under realistic and i will pull back the face recovery to around 65 percent but i definitely think gen 2 is the winner here what do you think let me know in the comment section below before i move on to a modern image let me go ahead and click creative and see what kind of result we get now that's creative let me pull the face recovery up to 100 percent and again this is a sepia toned image and it probably thinks it's a color image so i'm getting that red in the lips but you notice that the eyes are now looking to the right as they're facing the camera on both faces as opposed to when i click on realistic now they're looking more at the camera that's kind of interesting, isn't it? So this creative can really get creative, as you can see here. Maybe something you want or don't want, but I'll have to play around with that just to see if I think it's something for me that I would use or not. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I do like the realistic mode. And now for a modern photograph, this is a generation one face recovery. This is before and this is after again before and after and it's pretty good but notice this little girl's eyes when i change this to generation two under realistic notice how much better they look now here is the before and here is the after and let's look at the mother i believe up here at the top this is uh generation two beta realistic here is before and here is after and here she is with generation one so for me i definitely think generation two is better now let's try generation two with creative on this image and see what kind of result we get this is with creative now this is before and this is after before and after it looks really nice and let's look at the children down here here is before and here is after again before and after it looks okay but for me i think i still like the realistic now this is the realistic again the before and after and one final thing i want to talk to you about is the new gigaprint when you install this latest update for topaz gigapixel 7 you will get a splash screen and it'll say print it big with gigaprint and you'll note it says join waitlist. Click on join waitlist and you can leave your email address. And as soon as they roll out Gigaprint, they will let you know they'll get back to you. It's currently available in the United States, but it will come to other regions soon. In the description below this video, I will leave a link to this Topaz Labs doc page all about Gigaprint. This way you can read up all about it and see if this is right for you. Now remember, 
you have to get on a waiting list. If you don't have a printer and you need a solution to get prints made, and you could get the process started right from within Topaz Gigapixel 7, which is really cool. So check out this doc and you'll have a better understanding of what this is all about. Now, at this point in time, I don't see any way of accessing Gigaprint from this latest update of Gigapixel 7. I'm assuming they will give you another update, probably a beta update, if you get accepted into this early program. So that's all to be seen. But at this point, I don't know how that's going to happen. But they will get back to you once you're on their waiting list. Well, there it is, everyone. Topaz Gigapixel 7, the latest update, version 7.4, now with Generation 2 face recovery. I hope you enjoyed today's first look video. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I wanna thank each and every one of you for for joining me today on the joy of editing with dave kelly i will see you all right here next time but until then happy editing